we're doing the pigeonhole principle. So it's fairly simple. You have 12 pigeons, 11 pigeonholes to fill. Coo -coo. At least one of the boxes has how many pigeons? Two. Two. That's it. If there's 13 people in your class, pigeonhole principle states N is, there's 12 months, N is number of months, and the number of, which is 12, the number of people is how many? Is 13. Therefore, there is at least one month with two people. Yeah, we could have all 13 people in December. But we know at least one month has to have two people in it. All right. It seems simple, right? But it is a little bit more complicated than that. So there's this other principle, the generalized pigeonhole principle. So just have a read of that one. So if there are n k plus 1 pigeons to be placed in n pigeonholes, then there has to be at least one pigeonhole with k plus 1 pigeons in it. Now, that probably just looks like jumbled mess. I'll show you what I mean. So there's 25 students in my class. Each student got an A, B, or C. So there's three grades. Show that there are at least nine students who receive the same grade. So there's three types of grades. A, B, or C. Um, and we have 25 students. So N K plus one is twenty five. What is the type of grades? Is it N or K? N, correct. Yep, so N is the number of things we can do, which is the grades. So N is the types, the number of types of grades. So if we sub that in, we've got 3k plus 1 is 25, minus 1 from both sides, divided by 3, k is 8. The pigeon hole principle says k plus 1. So there's at least k plus 1, therefore nine people at least got the same grade. Yeah, so if you think about the number 25, there's three boxes to fill, and in each box you could put eight people, and there's one left over, so at least one of those boxes has to have nine people in that. It could be distributed differently to that. There could be all A's and zero but there has to be at least one box with at least nine in it.